Pop a squat. Coming at you. Uh, so, Hip Hop Rap Storage, who's become the unofficial uh, assistant of uh, Papa Squat, um, pointed out that my my microphone is picking up too much of my voice, and in fact, me doing that sound probably made it peak. Uh, I'm gonna look into getting a better microphone. This is just like uh, my microphone camera combo that I'm using. Um, hadn't really considered why the sound, well, I know why this, why a nicer microphone makes a difference, but I didn't think this would cause that problem, but some of the videos I checked out and yeah, they're really pretty bad and, and making the, the sound not very good. Um, and that's especially true uh, when playing the music too, because I'm, it's just picking up what my speakers are playing, so it's not optimal. I'm gonna have to monkey around and I, I need to save up some money to actually get a nice mic. Um, but that'll be at some point. In the meantime, I'll just not talk quite as loudly uh, and hopefully you can still hear everything okay. This was a recommendation. I don't think it was from Hip Hop Rap Storage. Um, let me see if I can find right over here. Uh, this was a comment from T Bray's Fan 2008. Uh, T B R A Y S F A N 2008. Uh, and if you go to look at uh, my reaction to Hard Times by Curtis Blow, uh, you'll see that's where uh, T Bray's Fan 2008 um, posted this comment. So uh, I looked up the Williston Dodgers and 112 beats per minute or 112 BPM. It's from 1982, 1983. This looks to be a group, the Williston Dodgers, that was around roughly, uh, well, their earliest release was like 1982. Uh, and their oldest release or newest release was still in the, was it still in the 80s? I had looked up a little bit of info on these guys. Um, oh, I don't see it here anywhere though. So, um, but they weren't around for super long. This song in particular was actually reissued um, in 2020. Uh, so that I thought that was kind of interesting. So somebody came up with a new version of this song. This is the old one from 1982. Uh, let's just see where my volume's at. Uh, it sounded pretty cool at the very beginning. I don't know if it gets really weird or explicit or anything. I never do because if I haven't heard the song before, I really just listen to the first 10 ish seconds, maybe, um, to kind of get a feel for it, to, like if I think it's actually going to be good. I thought this sounded pretty cool. So let's jump in. 112 BPM from the Williston Dodgers. I like that. This intro, the, the beginning of this song is just a perfect example of sort of the really nice, I mean this in the best possible way, like simplistic, simple beats that start these songs off. They're, they're not overproduced, they're not worked and worked and worked, they don't sound like everything else. There's been a huge problem in music over the last couple of decades that everything has started sounding very samey. Um, and it's fascinating to, to look into that sort of stuff. Um, but it, it, this sort of beginning is just perfect. It's just perfect. Hitting those glasses in the background, that is just perfect. And I'm loving the sound effects. I'm loving how he's rapping, singing, performing, whatever. I, I love this.
It's a really simple song, uh, and again, I mean that in a really good way because it's super interesting. And the producer and the, and the, the creator of this really did a great job of keeping the phrases different, uh, musical phrases different, and changing things up and keeping your interest in like having those repeated uh, glass sounds in the bag. Ding, 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 ding. It's just, it's great. I mean, this is actually a really cool little song. I'm totally a fan of that song. I, I love that song. That's like, it's a good background song. It's a good driving song. I, it, I, that's just a great song. I am definitely going to get this song like right now. Uh, loved it. Absolutely. Thank you for the recommendation. Um, again, this is from like 1982, 1983. I'm fine with that. It's still in the same basic time period, and I'll I'll get to those years eventually. Um, yeah, I love this song. Um, really short. Uh, different in so many ways, super interesting, lots of cool stuff happening in it, great sounds. Um, I, I think I think it's a great song. I, it's amazing to me when, when I find or people recommend songs to me, and they are so amazingly good, uh, and yet unknown. Uh, I mean, unknown is a 40-year-old song. Um, yeah, really amazing. I, I love this. Uh, anyway, thank you. Thank you for the recommendation. Uh, if you have any more or anybody else has any more, please feel free to send them along. Happy to do them. Um, hey, Papa Squat. Checking out. Please like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate it very much. We've kind of been stuck at 177, 178 people for a while now. Uh, it'd be nice to get some more subscribers, but really I understand subscribers do not reflect how many people actually watch because I have 
surprisingly thousands of views of my videos, um, considering I just started doing them for the heck of it uh, during the pandemic. And uh, yeah, no, this is cool. So uh, I hope you like this one. Please like, subscribe, and share. I will see you tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow should be doable. Um, I was busy yesterday. I got to see Black Widow yesterday. Uh, have yourself a good night. Oh, it was good.